So I just hope that I can continue doing good things, and uh, I hope the Lord will continue to bless me, and I give him praise for all the, the good things that's happened to me. So I thank you as well. So thank you, and good night. Thank you. Hello, Bright Sparks. Welcome back to our vibrant channel. If you're new here, we're all about diving into the lives and successes of extraordinary individuals. Today, we're turning up the volume and adding a dash of glitter as we explore the life and earnings of none other than the queen of country herself, Dolly Parton. But before we get started, I must warn you, we will also be discussing some tragic news that has impacted Dolly's life. So grab a tissue and buckle up. It's going to be an emotional roller coaster. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Let's dive in. Now, we all know she's a country music legend, but did you know she's got a whole bunch of hobbies and interests outside of her music? First off, Dolly's a big fan of the great outdoors. She loves nothing more than spending time in her home state of Tennessee, hiking through the Smoky Mountains and just soaking up the natural beauty. She's even got her own theme park, Dollywood, which is all about celebrating the culture and beauty of the area. But it's not all about the outdoors for Dolly. She's also a bit of a bookworm. She's been known to spend her hard-earned cash on building up her collection of books, and she's even started her own literacy program, the Imagination Library, which provides free books to children around the world. And speaking of giving back, Dolly's a big believer in using her wealth to help others. She's donated millions of dollars to various charities over the years, including the American Red Cross and the Dolly Parton's My People Fund, which she set up to help those affected by the wildfires in Tennessee in 2016. But of course, Dolly's not afraid to splash out on herself every now and then. She's famous for her glamorous, over-the-top style, and she's been known to spend a pretty penny on her wardrobe and makeup. After all, as Dolly herself says, it costs a lot of money to look this cheap. We know you're interested in the latest news about Dolly's husband, but let's take things one step at a time. Dolly, born on January 19, 1946 in Tennessee, has always been open about her life, sharing her journey with her fans through her heartfelt music. But let's talk about the woman behind the music, shall we? First off, let's talk about the man who's been by her side for over five decades, her husband, Carl Dean. Dolly and Carl met outside the wishy-washy laundromat in Nashville on the very first day Dolly moved to the city. Sparks flew, and the rest, as they say, is history. They tied the knot in 1966 in a private ceremony in Ringgold, Georgia. Despite the glitz and glamour of Dolly's career, their relationship has remained strong and grounded. Carl has always preferred to stay out of the spotlight, which Dolly has always respected. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't Dolly and Carl have children? Well, Dolly has openly discussed her decision not to have children, stating that she believes God didn't mean for her to have kids so everybody's kids could be hers. And true to her word, Dolly has been a loving and supportive figure to many children through her Imagination Library, a book gifting program that mails free books to children from birth to age five. Dolly's relationships extend beyond her marriage, She's known for her strong friendships, particularly with her 9 to 5 co-stars Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin. Their bond is so strong that they've often been referred to as the Holy Trinity of Hollywood. In May 2024, there were some troubling rumors circulating about the couple. Reports surfaced that Dolly had suffered a stroke and that Carl was so distraught by the news that he was hospitalized. Some media outlets even went so far as to report that Carl had passed away. However, these rumors were not confirmed. Dolly's team has yet to make a statement on the matter, and until they do, we should treat these rumors with caution. However, as it turns out, Dolly Parton did indeed have a stroke. This was reported by an employee who preferred to remain anonymous from Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Breaking news, folks. According to an anonymous source at Vanderbilt University Medical Center, Dolly Parton was admitted to the hospital with a stroke in May 2024. The source, who claims to be a staff member at the medical center, chose to remain anonymous and did not provide any evidence to support their claim. As you may know, 
There are strict laws in the United States regarding the disclosure of medical information. Patients have a right to privacy, and healthcare professionals can face fines and even criminal prosecution for disclosing confidential medical information. At this time, we have not been able to independently confirm the anonymous source's claim, and we urge caution in spreading any unverified information about Dolly's health. Strokes are a serious medical condition that can have devastating effects on a person's health. They occur when blood flow to the brain is interrupted, causing brain cells to die. Symptoms can include sudden weakness or numbness on one side of the body, difficulty speaking or understanding speech, and loss of balance or coordination. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of a stroke, it's important to seek medical attention immediately. Early treatment can significantly improve the chances of a full recovery. Our thoughts are with Dolly Parton and her loved ones at this time. We hope that she is in good health and that any reports to the contrary are unfounded. As always, we will keep you updated with any new information as it becomes available. We will be posting confirmation or denial of this information on our YouTube community soon, so subscribe. But let's take our minds off the rumors and bad news and talk about Dolly Parton's financial situation. So, how did Dolly Parton become Dolly Parton, the financial powerhouse? Well, it all started with her incredible talent and passion for music. From humble beginnings in Tennessee, Dolly moved to Nashville to pursue her dreams. Her first big break came when she was signed by Monument Records in 1965. But it was her partnership with Porter Wagoner that really launched her career making her a household name in country music. Now let's talk about the dollars and cents. Dolly's net worth is estimated to be around $650 million, according to Forbes. That's a lot of zeros, right? But how did she amass such a fortune? Well, it's not just her music sales and concerts. Dolly is a savvy businesswoman with a diverse portfolio. She owns her own record label, Dolly Records, and a production company, Send Dollar Productions. She's also the co-owner of The Dollywood Company, which operates the Dollywood theme park and other entertainment venues. And let's not forget about her acting career. Dolly has starred in several successful films like Nine to Five and Steel Magnolias, adding to her wealth. She's also made millions from songwriting, penning over 3,000 songs, including I Will Always Love You, which was famously covered by Whitney Houston. Dolly Parton's financial success story is as inspiring as her music. It's a testament to her talent, hard work, and business acumen. But more than anything, it's a reminder of the power of giving back. Because for Dolly, it's not just about making money, it's about making a difference. But have you ever wondered where this queen of country lays her head at night, or what kind of real estate she owns? Dolly Parton, despite her global fame and fortune, has always stayed true to her roots. Born and raised in the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee, it's no surprise that she's chosen to call this beautiful region home. Her primary residence is a stunning mansion located in Brentwood, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville. This four-bedroom, six-bathroom property is nestled in a private, wooded area, offering Dolly the peace and tranquility she needs away from the spotlight. But that's not all. Dolly also owns a beautiful log cabin in her hometown of Sevierville, Tennessee. This isn't your average log cabin, though. It's a luxurious retreat where she can reconnect with her roots and spend quality time with her family. The cabin is located near Dollywood, her very own theme park, which is a testament to her love for her hometown and its people. Dolly Parton's real estate portfolio also includes a penthouse suite in Nashville, which she uses as a crash pad when she's working in the city. This luxurious suite is located in one of Nashville's most prestigious buildings and offers stunning views of the city. Despite her global success, Dolly Parton remains a Tennessee girl at heart. Her real estate choices reflect her love for her hometown, her family, and her need for a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of show business. As is tradition, after real estate, we show you the celebrity's cars. Dolly Parton is no exception. She's a woman who's worked hard for her success and isn't afraid to enjoy the fruits of her labor. One of Dolly's most prized possessions is a 1997 Cadillac Delegance, 
a luxurious ride that's as stylish and classy as the woman herself. This isn't just any Cadillac, mind you. It's a custom-made powder blue beauty that's been decked out with all the bells and whistles. It's a car that's fit for a queen, and Dolly Parton is certainly country royalty. But Dolly's love for cars doesn't stop at her Cadillac. She's also been spotted driving a Chevrolet Tahoe, a practical and spacious SUV that's perfect for getting around her sprawling Tennessee estate. And let's not forget about her 2007 Lexus LS, a sleek and sophisticated sedan that's just as comfortable on the red carpet as it is on the open road. But here's the thing about Dolly. Despite her love for luxury cars, she's never forgotten her humble beginnings. She's still the same girl from the Smoky Mountains who used to dream of making it big. And that's why she's also been known to drive a simple Chevrolet pickup truck. It's a reminder that no matter how successful she becomes, she'll always stay true to her roots. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching it with us, but hey, don't stop now. We've got more awesome videos for you to check out. Keep exploring and have fun.